So after four years and four months, it was time, time to christen. So got my wife, Becky, in position, showed her where to whack that thing on the boat. And this time, I know she was bound and determined to break the champagne, unless the, unlike the last time with our Osprey, where it bounced. And our good, my good lifelong friend grew up with him. Craig Phillips was there to assist us at the harbor. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> here we go. Did it right there. All right. Hi, Kristen. Papa Jay. Ooh. Papa Jay. Lots of love. Let her rip, baby. Smag it. Ooh. I got some on ya. Right. Oh yeah. Ooh -hoo. All right. Ooh. Smell that champagne. Mm. Mama smells like a beer joint. <laughs> All right. There she sits. Ooh. Okay. So we showed the christening first, of course, but this is a few photos of the boat in the shop. And as it came out, as we were leaving Kenai, Alaska, headed to Homer, Alaska, 90-mile drive. And it was raining just a little bit when we left, but as we got to Homer, it cleared up as we came down the hill. It was absolutely spectacular. So the uh, trip was smooth. We drove 50, 55 miles an hour. It pulled fine, um, very happy with the uh, drive down to Homer and back. Well, after four years and a few odd months, but who's counting? We're getting ready to go. We are headed 90 miles south from Kenai, Alaska, down to Homer. Got the dinghy on. And it is just under 15 foot from the top of the dinghy to the floor. <clears throat> so we're going to give it a shot. We also got our safety strap up there that goes angled to the front brow in case we hit some. Hope not. Got our Suzuki's locked and loaded. And once again, Peninsula Power Sports. Um, unbelievable group. Very, very very enjoyable to deal with uh, Zach and the gang over there. So just got things laid out here so when we get there it's fairly ready to put in the water. Got my buoys ready on both sides no matter where they go. Got the uh, mooring rope, a ladder when we're at the dock to get in out the side, swing our legs over I'm anticipating. <clears throat> Emergency throw rope, everything's been up, cranked. Right now, the whole systems work as a standard boat. So it's just Suzuki shifters, normal steering. We're going to program this once we get the Homer today. Inside the boat, everything's cleaned up, ready to go. Oh, I've got a few uh, fishing poles. I've waited a long time to put these things in here. A long time. A couple life jackets when we get there. Mama's got the cubby berth all set up and ready to go. Of course, everything's lit underneath there. One extra. Oh, there's another fishing pole. You got a light band, right? Bathroom. Bathroom's ready. White lights, red lights, stocked with a few blank um, towels. Uh, I guess we could slip that off. Threw in a teak accent floor. Once again, curtains on the windows. Uh, we're. I just didn't have time to get the tabletop done but it will be in the next week or so but right now we're launching and mainly concerned of testing everything 
I have cranked up all my Ray Marine equipment. I got it all talking, operating as one system. Nine inch screen, 12 inch main. I got a seven on the aft deck helm. My 73 Ray Marine radio with AIS backup uh, VHF radio. <clears throat> Everything's locked down. The folding console's locked with three individual hasps. Uh, the main B V berth. It's ready. Even got a little cover on the uh, hatch cover. So once again, I'm gonna step down in here to do a back shot. So that's looking from the V berth back, of course. And my electrical panel. We're on the 12 volt right now. I just need to pop. We're off of shore power. All the different items. Trim tabs are on. Trim, sorry, trim tabs are off. Fridge is on, 12 volt. Systems are all up and running. All except for my solar and a spare. The anchor winch is in off position. And the inverter is in the off position. Safety equipment, bailout bag, all the life jackets, flares are underneath there. Emerge, that's the first aid kit down underneath there. We got food storage down below and big uh, rubber maids and they're bungeed down. Alrighty, we are heading to Homer. We're loaded. Lights are working. Four years, four months, we're done. We are ready. Well, to say the least, we're uh, getting ready to launch here. And uh, my heart was uh, pumping a little faster than normal. Uh, putting the boat in you built for the first time after four years of work wondering how everything is going to lay in the water um, Very happy with the outcome though Took our time back and down once again lifelong friend uh, Craig Phillips was there to assist he met us down at the dock and he came and hung with us for the day Which was absolutely fun um, Really appreciated his help um, got the boat in the water and just took our time and uh, let her sit and guided it in. What worked out really good was that bumper rail that I put in. We didn't have to even throw buoys. We just laid right against the dock walkways and uh, got in and engines cranked up, fired off. Um, very happy with uh, how everything came together and then what Went to the uh, slip, put in at P-34, and waited for uh, Brian Baker with ACI to come and uh, do the adjustments on the uh, the fine-tuning of the joystick Seagate 360 Optimus steering. And that all went real good. So we had a great day. No, The rain had quit. It was beautiful. Good temperature. 
Going to launch in slowly. Craigie's on board. Here she goes. We got engines. Gosh, it's pretty. So a few photos here of the boat sitting at the uh, dock at our slip, P-34. Uh, the rub rail worked great. We just can lay against the, uh, the finger there and uh, tie up tight, put a spring line on it, and it worked excellent. We didn't hear any banging or anything. Uh, it sits a little bow heavy, and uh, I have a plan to remedy that, but uh, that'll be a winter project. It doesn't make the uh, operation of the boat any different. I was very happy with our washdown pump. It uh, started pumping, and then once it caught, it developed extremely good pressure, and it's super for washing the aft deck down. So that was fun to play with. And there she is sitting right in the middle at the, in all the mass of boats at Homer, Alaska. Upcoming is um, fine tuning of the uh, Optimus system. So notice the rub rail is working. But also notice it's just a little bit bow heavy. 
or the flotation because we added flotation two foot on the back. Was it four years, five years ago now? After they've done all that work. So Brian just got done programming and initiation, initiating the uh, Optimus joystick steering and uh, it all came together great. So we're in the harbor, in the Homer Harbor, Homer, Alaska. And uh, right now we're under power with the Suzuki full control, but um, we've tested it in and out. So there's the Mama J. Harbor's a little busy right now. Yeah. Adopted J. Adopted J. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the sexy one, Papa J. <laughs> Well, we're back on the trailer after the shakedowns. Pretty much happy all the way around. Just a couple items we need to tend or two. So we thought we'd just grab us a coffee mm. and some homemade donuts here on the boardwalk in Homer. Convenient little coffee shop right across from the harbor and the Donut shop is down there. Yeah, we'll be headed to Kenai. It's a beautiful day. Should have been in the water, but yeah, we're gonna take off. Mama was in the bathroom just cleaning up a few things and caught her looking out the window playing peekaboo. She uh she was getting the leftover stuff out of it, some wet gear. and <clears throat> Anyway, you can see that the bathroom is good size. Uh, good friends of ours, Gigi Banis, was at the fuel dock and took the photo of the boat for us. And we had pulled up just to say hi and talking on the VHF. Guff Sherman, Sherman Signs in Kenai, Alaska, had his uh, guy come over and install our signs on the boat so the Papa J love the purple white accent and uh, then we also slapped on the sides of the forward side windows Papa J and as you'll see coming up put on one for mama saying Mama J <laughs> <laughs> 